Okay, now we're going to look at the long wave component of the radiation budget, and we'll start at the surface. Now we know that uh, 45 parts of that initial solar uh, energy, the initial short wave radiation, were absorbed at the surface, either from uh, direct sunlight reaching the surface or diffuse uh, radiation reaching the surface. So 45 were received by the surface. Um, that means there are 45 uh, parts of energy that need to leave the surface. And they do that in a number of different forms. Uh, 19 parts are released to the atmosphere through the transfer of latent heat, uh, water evaporating from the surface, um, rising up in the atmosphere where it eventually uh, condenses to form uh, raindrops or cloud droplets. That delivers 19 parts of energy up into the atmosphere. Four parts of energy are delivered up into the atmosphere through convective motions through uh, large-scale wind patterns, storms, uh, atmospheric disturbances that transport heat up into the atmosphere. Now, 110 parts leaves the surface as infrared radiation, as long-wave radiation emitted from the surface, but doesn't make it out to space because it's actually absorbed by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Now, of that 110, 96 are then emitted by those greenhouse gases back towards the surface, and 14 are emitted out to space. So that's a net gain. It's a loss of 110, a gain of 96. Um, so a net loss of only 14 parts. Now, eight parts make it all the way out to space in the form of long wave radiation emitted from Earth's surface. So we've got 14 plus 8, that's 22, plus 4, that's 26, plus 19, that's 45. That accounts for all 45 parts. All right, well, let's see what happened up in the atmosphere. Uh, 19 parts of energy, we said, were delivered up into the atmosphere by latent heating. 4%, 4 parts, by convective heat transfer uh, from the surface and lower atmosphere, and a net gain of 14 uh, parts of infrared radiation, and of course eight parts were emitted all the way out to space. So we've got 14 parts of infrared radiation that have been absorbed by the atmosphere, 23 that were gained from a latent and convective heat transfer. And remember, we had 21 parts that were initially absorbed by the atmosphere, 21 parts of the initial solar energy absorbed by the atmosphere or by clouds. 18 plus 3 gave us 21. So we've now got 21 plus 23 plus 14. That gives us 66. So those 66 parts of energy that are absorbed by the atmosphere need to be emitted back out to space in the form of infrared radiation. And they are. Add in the 3% that is emitted by ozone within the stratosphere, and that gives us 69. The original 69 parts of solar energy that we started with that weren't reflected out to space. And so that completes our discussion of the global energy and radiation budget.